What's up? Welcome to Comic Basics. I'm Joel, and today's episode, Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters. Green Arrow, The Longbow Hunters is a three-issue series written and drawn by Mike Grell. The story is as important to the Green Arrow as jelly to peanut butter. In the way that Frank Miller changed and refocused Batman and Daredevil, Mike Grell changed and refocused the Green Arrow. Can a superhero still be a superhero in his 40s? That's the question that the Green Lantern faced on his 43rd birthday. The story picks up as Oliver Queen is leaving his home in Star City to start a new life in Seattle. He did this so that he may be with his girlfriend, Dinah Lance, or, as you probably know her, the Black Canary. This change of scenery provided him an outlet to reflect on his duties as a hero. It's during this time that he discontinues the use of trick arrows in favor of more traditional arrows. As much as he wanted to escape the superhero life, he really wasn't. Unable to escape the call of heroism, while living in Seattle, he begins to track down a known serial killer called Seattle Slasher. While this was happening, Black Canary was attempting to get into and learn about a drug shipping operation that may have had ties to Kyle Magner. Hot on the trail of the Seattle Slasher, Oliver finds his way into an underground section of the city. It's here that he learns that a serial killer is a soldier of the Vietnam War. Just as Oliver is about to apprehend the Slasher, he's caught by surprise by him. Luckily, another archer was there to stop the Slasher, and the archer quickly shoots the Slasher as well as a passerby motorist. It's revealed that this mysterious archer is the character Shadow. It turns out that Shadow is the daughter of a Yakuza agent that was held captive during World War II. While held captive, the Yakuza agent was forced to give up the location of a large amount of gold to some American soldiers. As chance would have it, one of the soldiers was the aforementioned Kyle Magner. Sadly, Shadow's father, now facing extreme dishonor, kills himself. It's explained that now as an adult, Shadow seeks to bring honor to her deceased father. Once Oliver returns home, he learns that the drug dealer that Dinah had been investigating had mysteriously turned up dead. In an act of desperation and fearing for the safety of his girlfriend, Oliver quickly makes his way to the docks. Once there, he sees that she'd been tied up, tortured, and was facing the possibility of dying. Without thinking, Oliver kills the person responsible and the others in the vicinity. As luck would have it, the torturer was also one of Shadow's targets. Kyle Magner quickly learns of the events at the dock and orders better protection for every subsequent drug dealing. His CIA contact, Osborne, assigns known weapons master Eddie Fryers to take down Shadow. Shortly thereafter, Shadow is able to take down another of the men who brought dishonor to her family. This time, instead of quietly leaving the scene, she sends a message to Oliver to meet her on a nearby mountain. The purpose of the meeting was to inform him that she planned on killing Kyle Magner. As Oliver arrives, he notices that Eddie Fryers has perched himself on a spot not too far away and is taking aim with a sniper rifle to kill Shadow. Strangely, Oliver takes it upon himself to subdue Fryers. This scuffle affords Magner the opportunity required to escape. From here, Oliver tracks Magner back to his office to frame him for the murder of the drug supplier. However, before he can, Shadow shoots and kills Magner through the window of the building. Green Arrow the Longbow Hunters is one of, if not the best and most definitive Green Arrow story ever written. It is a turning point for the character and will continue to define him for years to come. From this point forward, and like many characters rejuvenated in the 1980s, the Green Arrow becomes a much more edgy and darker character. And I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. Both really do help this channel grow. If you have any other topics that you'd like us to cover, leave them in the comments and I'd love to do them for you. Thanks guys, I know there's a million YouTube channels out there, and for you to come check out mine means the world to me. I hope you come back, and until then, I'll catch you next time.